Hi guys, I'm Esther from Spicy Vegan, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to grow your own alfalfa sprouts from home. So it's actually super easy to do, and you can grow a whole jar of alfalfa sprouts like this for a fraction of the cost, and it only takes about five days to get a nice little harvest like this, and it only takes about two tablespoons of seeds. It's super rewarding to grow your own sprouts. It's super easy. I think anyone can do it, even if you're busy, even if you live in an apartment, this is something that you can do um, so that you have some fresh greens at home. I'm gonna get started showing you guys how to grow your own sprouts. So the first thing that you're gonna need is to have a wide mouth mason jar like this one. And the second thing you're gonna need is a sprouting lid like this one. Now there's all different sprouting lids. I got these off Amazon in a two pack. Um, there's also little stands that you can buy as well if you wanna make it a little bit easier just so that you don't have to tip your jar on the side. It will do it for you. But I'm just gonna show you a really basic version. All you need is a lid like this one, a wide mouth jar, of course your sprouting seeds. And I got them off Amazon. I got a mixed pack of a bunch of different ones, but you can get whatever you want. So in this case, we're growing alfalfa sprouts, which are one of my favorite. I think they just have such a good flavor. It only took five days and I have these beautiful sprouts and it only took me a couple minutes each day. So let's get started. All right, so I've got my mom's sprouting seeds here. I've got my wide mouth mason jar. I've got my little sprouting lid and you can see on the back here how that drains it properly. And so I'm gonna just grab a tablespoon here and I'm gonna get two tablespoons of the alfalfa sprouting seeds. I'm just gonna pour those right in. I wanna make sure that I'm covering the bottom of the jar. So if you don't want a full jar, you can just do one tablespoon and that would give you half the amount of sprouts. It depends on how many you eat and how often you're eating them and things like that because they don't keep forever so you'll figure out exactly how much you need and then you can just make those um, in the future going forward and then the next thing we're going to want to do now that we've got the sprouts in there is we want to fill the jar about halfway with water so you just want to stir in those seeds really well because we're going to be soaking those seeds for the first little bit here so we're going to soak those seeds for about six to twelve hours i usually just leave them overnight um, and then they don't need to be put in direct sunlight. So once those are done soaking overnight, I'm gonna drain them really well. We don't wanna, like we wanna rinse these, but we don't want a ton of moisture in them because we don't want bacteria. So I'm gonna rinse those really thoroughly. I'm gonna give them a really good swirl around and make sure you swirl, swirl, swirl. And you wanna make sure all those seeds are equally rinsed because um, this is what's gonna sprout them. So you wanna drain, repeat this process two times every single day. So we want to keep that jar upside down and on an angle. So if you don't want to place it like I did, you can get one of these little stand racks things from Amazon and that makes it just a little bit easier. Um, but here is a look at the sprouts on day one. There they are on day two. We can see those sprouts are really coming just on day two. Now on day three, there's some really major progress. You can see the length of those sprouting is coming really through. Day four, we're actually starting to see some little greens and you can really see the difference on day four on how much those have grown and sprouted and then finally on day five this is the day that they're ready to eat just like that it was so easy so once I would say you want to leave those sprouts in the jar for half a day after their last rinse just to help remove some of that moisture because we want them a bit dry when we're putting them away to store them you can also pat dry them with a towel or a paper towel I've just got a kitchen towel here and they can be stored in an airtight container in the fridge for up to three days so they aren't able to be stored forever so you do want to make sure that you're you know growing the amount that you are going to be eating but they are so so easy now I'm gonna list all of the potential benefits of alfalfa sprouts just up here on the screen. Now, I'm not a doctor or a health professional, so you can look these up on your own before deciding to eat them. You do wanna be careful that your sprouts are clean. Um, it is a green, just like romaine. You can get bacteria and things in there, so make sure that you're not eating them if they smell off, if they smell funky or if they're slimy. Those are your two indicators not to eat them. If you're worried about serving them to kids or anything like that, personally, I haven't had any issues, but if you are worried, you can always consume them cooked. Although I prefer the health benefits of them raw. And you can eat these on pretty much anything, in a salad, on curries, on soups, on stews, and especially in sandwiches. And here's just a couple of ideas of what you can put your sprouts on. They are delicious on so many dishes. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching this video on how I grow my own alfalfa sprouts at home. I hope you guys loved this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button below. And if you have any questions with anything to do with sprouts, growing sprouts, using them, cooking them, anything like that, please hit those in the comments below with all those questions and I will answer all of your questions regarding sprouts. Thanks again so much for watching.